Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a scrolling texture with the 2D URP shader graph. As you can see here I have a sprite renderer with an arrow texture, arrow sprite, uh, same one I used in my 3D version of this tutorial, and it is scrolling here. I've had a couple comments on the 3D video saying that 2D doesn't really work too well, so I thought I would address that in this video. All right, so first things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of my existing sprite and I will start fresh. So the first thing I wanna do is right click in my hierarchy, go to 2D, Object, Sprites, and I'm gonna select the square sprite and I'm just gonna name it Sprite. Also, I have already gone through the trouble of setting up the universal render pipeline asset. It does have to be with the 2D rendering uh, URP. So when you go to create it, go to create rendering and URP asset with 2D renderer. And then you just drag the asset here and then you have your URP set up. I have a whole nother video explaining that. Uh, but now that we have our sprite, we'll want to assign the image that we want. So instead of our arrow here, which I've already used, I'm gonna just try to use this water tile that I have. And the first thing is you'll notice that if we go to try to assign it, it's not gonna work. And that's because the texture type is default instead of 2D Sprite. So I'm gonna go ahead and pixels per unit. I'm just gonna say 512 just to match the dimensions of the image. And I will apply that. And we can go ahead and drag in our water tile and looks good. I am just gonna go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. The next thing we'll want to do is I'll go to my shaders folder. I already have the scrolling shader uh, graph here that I made for the beginning of the video, but I'll go ahead and make a new one. So right click, go to create shader graph URP, and I'm gonna do a sprite unlit shader graph. And I'll just do, I'll just name this tutorial scrolling sprite shader. And I'll double click that to open it in shader graph. And the first thing I'll want is a texture 2D and I'm gonna name this main text. And what's really important about this is this reference right here. You'll want this to say underscore main text just like I have it right here. If it's not like that, then this will not work. So I'll go ahead and drag main text out, hook it up to a sample texture node and I will feed the color into the base color of the fragment shader part and the alpha as well. And after we do that, now we can see the sample texture node has a UV input here. So I can go ahead and create a tiling and offset node. Go ahead and plug the output in there. And for this tiling and offset node, I'll want to create a vector two and a multiply node. So the vector two is gonna be determining direction and we're gonna multiply that by a speed of some sort. So for the vector two, I'll actually wanna right click and go to convert to property and I will call this direction. And let's go ahead and add a, another node. Let's add a time node. And this will make sure that our image scrolls over time but we might not want it to scroll as fast as the default speed. So I'll add a float for speed, bring that in here, multiply the speed by the time output here. And then we'll plug this multiply node into the multiply with the direction. And then finally we can connect the output of the final multiply node to the offset node. And if we save all of this, and I'll go back to our scene, and to get out of here, I just double click the uh, name of the window here. So that's how I get out of that, in case you were wondering. Make sure our asset is saved. We can go back to our scene and we'll need to create our material. So I'll right click on our shader graph, go to create material, and I'll call this scrolling sprite. I will go ahead and add that to our sprite renderer. So right here, our material is using scrolling sprite, uh, but as you can see, our sprite is not scrolling, and that's because we gotta add a direction and a speed, so I'm just gonna add negative one x, positive one on the y, speed, let's do 0.5, I suppose, and you, 
a weird thing happens now where the image disappears. So now it's just completely blue. And I'm guessing this might be where some of you might have gotten stuck. If it wasn't the main text thing, it might have been this. So to get it to tile normally, uh, so to do that, you'll want to select your image and then go to wrap mode and make sure repeat is on and click apply. And now you can see our texture, or I guess our sprite in this case does scroll. Uh, let me go back to my material here and I'll lower this. I want it to go up. doesn't really matter though. Uh, but yeah, that is how you get that to scroll. And the best part is if I duplicate this and uh, let's move it over to the side, I can just change the sprite to whatever and it is also going to scroll. So my arrow is scrolling. If I duplicate this, bring it over here, go ahead, change our lava to a sprite. Change the wrap mode to repeat, click apply, uh, set my pixels per unit to 512, click apply again. Then I can select our other option and just drag our lava texture in there. And if I hit play, all of them are going to be scrolling in the same direction. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. I hope you guys were able to learn something helpful in this video. Uh, so yeah, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment what you want to see next and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.